two months after the search for Elijah Vu began. It's showing no signs of slowing down. That's right. Two Rivers police say that they are utilizing all avenues to try and find Elijah and bring him home. Tonight, those impacted by the little boy's disappearance came together to support the ongoing search efforts. Fox 11's Brady Meyer has continuing coverage for us tonight. Family, friends, and the Two Rivers community have searched tirelessly for Elijah Vu since he was reported missing on February 20th. To help find him. And we're, we will do almost anything to help find Elijah. We won't stop. To keep those searches going, organizers like Veronica Blackman created a magic show fundraiser as a way to give residents something to enjoy while also contributing to the cause. Anything I can take the kids to, a good show and it's something that's close to our community, you know, just showing support for everyone out there doing what they can. The money collected will be used in a variety of ways. It's able to give us um, supplies, food, gas, um, flashlights, whistles, hats, gloves, stuff that we might need to go and help. While organizers ask for donations of at least $5, that's just a piece of a bigger picture for many. We live in Two Rivers close by and we were searching that day and it just is very meaningful to everybody. Those impacted by Elijah's disappearance, like Two Rivers Christy Gates and Becky Ernst, say they'll take advantage of any opportunity to help. Being a small, close-knit community, people need closure and, you know, any step closer that we can get to figuring out what happened, where Elijah is, it's worth it. Everybody wants to do anything they can to help because the resources that the community, the police, the FBI, um, so costly, and we just want to find him. We just want to know what's going on. As for official law enforcement activity, that's continued too. Recently, that's included kayak and sonar searches in water, aerial searches by the Wisconsin Drone Network, and agricultural land searches. In Manitowoc, Brady Meyer, Fox 11 News.